going to demonstrate how to use test trigger um, to complete data sets. There are two ways to do it and I'm going to demonstrate both of them. Um, the I'm going to use this uh, simple website to show how we can use the, the different values inside several test well one test case run several times and, and so I've already created a script which I'm just going to add a custom script and let's call it a sample data set test case and I'm going to go ahead and run this now this test case obviously is going to fail because the stored values have not been set yet because we haven't created the, the data set. And as we see, it failed. And the error that we received is the variable first name was not set prior to enter the stored value first name into this um, the field. So you're going to have to create for your data sets, obviously, you're going to have to create generic names. Um, but these are going to be your variables. And we're going to go ahead and uh, create the data set. So notice here, if you click on link data set, we don't have a data set, so there's nowhere to link it yet. And so I'm just going to come here to test data and then data sets. Now, the very first thing that I need, I need to create is a name um, for the data set. So let's just call it form one. Um, we don't have to give it a description, but you can, obviously, if you'd like. And then I'm going to add rows. Remember, this is the first way that we add. There's another way to do it. So um, so the first thing is I'm going to add a row. And my first row is going to represent all of the information that I'm going to put in for my first user. So we'll call this user1. Um, I can add a description. Simple values, I guess. Okay, and now I'm going to add some variables. So the first variable that I'm going to add is first name, and the value will be Clark. Then I'm going to add another variable, last name and it. We'll add another variable, email, basically a variable for every um, slot on this form, as it will be a different user to fill out this form each time. Um, so email, mark, hint, and email. Com. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of these uh, variables for the rest of the chart, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now we see I've set up the first row um, of variables. So basically all the information that I will need for my first user. Um, hmm. Next, I will create another row. And as you'll see here, the next time I create another row, all of the variables are already here. Um, let me call this user2. And and so now all I have to do is fill out the variables each time um, for this user. And add. Okay, so the, these are my different rows. And now I'm going to go back to the test case that I created and I'm going to link the data set. Now that I have, I have seven variables and I have two groups, basically two different users. So this test case should run two different times. Um, it's linked and then we'll go ahead and retest. Notice when, after you connect a data set, 
this option appears. And this is basically for you to view the execution, to select the row of the execution that you want to see. So if you want to see um, Superman or if you want to see uh, Wonder Woman, you can actually select which one. So you can select which, which, which user. So now I'm watching the information that I filled out for Wonder Woman. And I can see the execution for either one. And obviously you can go to the execution page and see them both side by side. So now let's take a look at the second way that we do, that we do data set. If you have a CSV file, which I do, I prepared one earlier. So if you have a CSV file with some information already um, prepared, you can actually upload your CSV file into Test Rigger and it will run your case. So let's go ahead and create another test case. We'll just use the same test case. We're going to go ahead and add and run this. And while this is running, as it's going to fail, as the last one did as well, we're going to go ahead and create our data set using the CSV file. So let's call this. Um, CSV. And click rows. And now here, instead of clicking either of these two, we're going to click upload CSV. And I will upload this here. So notice here for best results, format your CSV file before import. The number of test rows created will be equal to the largest number of values imported. So we have your columns, column headers are going to be your variables and your rows are going to be the values for each user. So every row, just the same concept, every row is going to be for a new user. So basically here, each row here, this is gonna be the information for this user. Let's continue filtering. It has a header. And notice in that these uh, the headers are exactly the same as the variables that I set inside the test case. They have to be identical. If not, it won't work. Um, so I'm gonna use all columns here and continue. Continue to preview. So it's set it up quite nicely. And it's import. So we see here that each row from the CSV file is now here. All right. So now we'll go back to this test case and we'll link the new data set and retest. And you can see here, there's a test case for each individual person. And just to confirm, uh, this person's name is Kevin Zink. Let's look at his form and it is filled out. And that's how data sets work.